scrolling down here to the last problem of this section. Example 7. The Sweet Tooth Restaurant brought $3,000 on a note dated March 5th, or May 15th with simple interest of 11%. The maturity date of the loan is September 1st. The restaurant made partial payments of $875 on June 15th of $940 and August 1st. $875 June 15th and $940 on August 1st. I got those in here. Find the amount due on the maturity date of the loan. I looked it up here. May 15th is, is uh, day 135. June 15th is day 166. That's 31 days. August 1st is day 213. That's 47 days from the previous payment. And September 1st is day 244, 31 days from the previous payment. So the first thing we want to do, the payment is 875. What's the interest part we'll take off first, then subtract the, subtract the rest from the balance? So we'll first do the May 15th to June 15th. The interest is going to be 3000 That's the total balance. Times 0.11, it's 11% interest. Times 31 out of 360. And we get $28.42. So from the 875, we subtract 2842. And we have 846.58 left. So from the 3000, we subtract what's left of the principal. That was interest. This is what's left. It goes to the principal. 846.58. And we have 2153.42. So the balance after making this payment is twenty-one fifty-three forty-two because twenty-eight dollars forty-two cents was paid in interest. Now another partial payment is made on August first. First, excuse me. So we're looking from June fifteenth to August first. The interest is going to be twenty-one fifty-three point four two, the current balance, times the point one one times how many days? Fifth, uh, 47 days. 47 over 360. That gives us an interest amount of $30.93. So from the payments of 940, we subtract $30.93. We get $909.07. So from the balance of 2153.42, we subtract 909.07. We have $1,244.35. And then finally, we have um, from August 1st to September 1st, the interest is going to be 12.44. 35 times 0.11 and the number of days there 31 days out of 360 interest is now $11.79 nice to see the interest going down but now instead of subtracting it we don't know what the final payment is going to be we know the final balance should be zero what's that last payment? it has to be this amount plus any interest that's accrued so 1244.35 plus 11.79 is 1256.14. So $1,256.14. That's the final payment. Okay. Well, that'll do it for this section. So. Send me your questions. I'll see you guys when we meet as a class online. Thanks.